There's nothing better than watching justice be served. When someone finally gets a taste of their own medicine, it's a better feeling than shooting heroin into your veins. And this example right here, oh, it's a great one. Because this couple went through a McDonald's drive through and ended up getting into a bit of an argument with the McDonald's employee, which resulted in them telling her to get a career, which then resulted in the woman losing her job. <laughs> So now I just want to go through this situation with you. It all spawns from this tweet here from Yegwave, where they said these customers at a McDonald's in Edmonton reportedly declined to park their car to receive their food and instead insisted on a cash refund. Which this has to be one of the dumbest reasons to get upset at a McDonald's. Like, come on now. this You look like a toddler throwing a temper tantrum because you want to eat your dessert before your vegetables. It's just a, it's a stupid reason to get upset. And the rest of that tweet has some spoilers in it, so I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to let you watch the video. You. If, if you're refunding guys. my money, you have to give me cash. Oh my God, you guys pay with David, right? You guys pay with the David, right? It, 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 the David, it doesn't right? matter. It doesn't matter, want, sir. If you're if you're telling it me, matter, sir. if you're telling me you're not giving me my food, I want my money back. I didn't say that. I'm not giving you your food. I just request you guys hey, to fresh you food, right? fresh. So if you didn't pick up on what Wish.com Wolverine here and his obnoxious wife were upset about, they're upset because they want a refund for their food, they didn't want to park their car, but they paid with a debit card and they're insisting on getting a cash refund and refusing to get the refund on the debit card. And the McDonald's worker is just telling them that they want to give them fresh food, that's why they're asking them to park so they can give them fresh food, but they're saying no! We want the refund, not on the debit card though that we paid with, we want a cash refund. And we're gonna make a scene. We're gonna hold our phones up, because holding a phone up, that means you win the argument right there. If you record it, that means you're in the right, obviously. I don't, I don't want to park. This is Celebrity McDonald's, this is Edmonton, I'm not, Alberta, girl. Okay? I'm not you're parking. You're Edmonton, where are you from? Parking my where car. Are you, where are you from? Where are you Shut from? Where are you from? Get a career. Seriously. Do for your life. Seriously. You're so sad. It's Seriously. So on top of these people just being insufferable, they're also racist, because of course they are. I mean, you can tell they're douchebags just by the way they're acting right here over such a minuscule little thing going wrong. It's not even going wrong. Anyone who causes this much of a scene with someone who works in like retail or fast food, there's, they're like the worst type of people because they don't, the people don't get paid enough to deal with your bullshit like this. And most of the time, it's not even the person's fault that you're trying to be upset at. They're just there working a job trying to make money and you're making their life miserable because you're miserable. And that's also where she says the infamous line in this story, get a career, which, oh, oh my, the, whew. The payoff for that at the end of this is going to be worth it. Just wait. Anyways, grab us that, some food. Okay, okay. I was so nice to you, you guys. Why are you, you, why you using that like, word for me? I don't even know why you're talking to the passenger of my vehicle. Well, she's probably talking to the passenger in your vehicle because the passenger in your vehicle is screaming like a banshee, acting like you just sacrificed her firstborn for their burger at McDonald's. Because when people like this start up an argument, there's no way you're going to win because they're so delusional in their way of thinking that no matter how rational and how good your argument is against what they're saying, they're not going to listen. They're going, they're, they practically have their fingers in their ears going, bah, 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 bah. I can't hear you. Bah, bah, bah. And I'm telling you that I don't want to park in reserve stall number two. And they are using a word for me like single time. You guys listen to her. You're telling me that you want me to park. You're telling me that you want me to park. You're telling me that you want me to park because you're on a timer to make your time good at McDonald's. Of course. Yeah, I don't care. That. I don't care about your time at McDonald's or how long Girl, it takes to make my food or about your timing. I ordered food, I want my food. Honestly, I think what they deserve at this point is to have their food spat in. Like that's one of the worst things you could do is be mean to someone who's making the food you're about to eat. But the sheer entitlement is just screaming at me through this video. All the poor McDonald's worker is trying to do is explain to them that if they, they, they should go park in the reserve spot so they could get their food when it's hot and ready for them to eat because it's not currently ready and therefore they could be fulfilling the orders behind them and stay on time and not get behind. Which they fail to understand this. They, I guess they're used to getting everything they want in their life. You know, everyone just spit shines the ground they walk on. So they think this is just blasphemous because the textbooks they grew up reading said that the whole world revolved around them. I gave my food, give me my money back. 
I'm giving money back. You guys tap your card. I lost. You guys tap your card. I lost. I lost my debit card. I'm sorry. I can't find it. My God, the lady just tap on her phone. I know, but I lost it. I can't find it. I'm sorry. I'm not giving cash. Moving. We have you all on camera. You oh, wow. I have a camera too. I, I, I can't watch this video for more than 10 seconds at a time without just getting violently sick to my stomach that people like this actually exist. They they paid with a debit card and now they're saying, oops, we want our money back, but oopsies, whoopsies, we lost our debit card. We want cash back. They're doing, they're actively doing everything they can to make this girl's life miserable working at McDonald's. Like, they're they're actively trying to ruin her day. They're trying to be assholes at this point. Whatever you guys said, no. F word for me. It's gonna be a big lawsuit tomorrow. Like, I'm telling you right now, I'm pulling my lawyer. Like, you and McDonald's is getting sued big time. Oh, yeah. 100%. Did I say something wrong to you guys? Your whole family's Not, gonna go back No. To Nothing to do with me. I don't even know why you're talking to my passenger, but anyways. So this wannabe Logan here is expecting us to believe that he has a lawyer a personal lawyer on standby, just ready to call to take up any case that he wants to throw on him. But he's making this big of a scene about getting a refund at McDonald's. But also, while he's trying to act all big and scary, you know, show his teeth to the McDonald's worker, show how much of a big, macho, tough guy he is, his uh, <laughs> excruciatingly obnoxious wife is over in the passenger seat, continuing to be racist, saying something about her family is going to go back to wherever they came from. Like... What are you, man, I just, like, what series of events has to go drastically wrong in your pathetic existence for you to act like these two? It just, it, man, I guess they are a perfect match for each other, though. They're, they're just as terrible as the other one. Seriously? Oh, shut up, you're having a meltdown. Work. You're, you're here to get paid to get work. Get off the phone and work. Why are you I do. Phone? I do. Work. What are you doing? You well, look at you me. guys. You guys don't listen to me at all. If you guys, you need a money back, I said you guys money. You tap your card, get your money back. I genuinely feel terrible for this this girl working at McDonald's. Like you can tell that she's trying all she can do to reason with these people, but they're not reasonable people. It's, it's just not gonna work. It, it's like it's like Atlas, not fucking Atlas. It's like uh, what's the goddamn dude? I forgot his name. The dude that pushes the stone up the hill. It's like him. You're gonna never, you're never gonna get to the top. You're just gonna keep pushing and pushing, and then it's gonna roll back down, and you're gonna keep pushing and, pu and nothing's gonna come from it. That's what arguing with these kind of people is gonna do. And then on top of that, the lady who has been nothing but belligerent and racist to you so far is saying, you're making a scene, honey. You're making a scene. <laughs> All the while, they're both documenting their selves being horrible. I don't know how they think anybody's going to be on their side after recording this, but I guess that's what delirium will do to you. They're huffing on that delirium real hard. Don't worry, I got 50,000 right? followers on Instagram. I'm going to post this video. You you're like, I don't care about it. You're like, this is going, I will get my cash then. I want my cash. Whoa, dude, yo. He's got 50,000 followers. I didn't know that, man. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was dealing with a celebrity here. Oh, golly. Let me, let me get up and start. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> he has fifty thousand followers. I've never met anybody who has fifty thousand followers. Uh, whew. Sorry, sir. You can do what you can act however horribly you want to whoever you want if you have fifty thousand followers. But on a completely serious note, even if you're the fucking president of the United States. You don't get to act like this to anyone you want just because you're th you think you're up on this big pedestal and that you're better than everybody else. At the end of the day, you're still a human, you're still flesh and blood, and you're still gonna die, just like the rest of us. This is my debit card. I don't have the debit card. Oh, uh, how do you pay, sir? I, did, I, I tapped on the phone. Yeah, you can tap again. I don't have the phone. I'm sorry. You can, oh, that's the lady phone, right? You can tap she it again. She doesn't want to tap her phone. She wants the money. Wow, seriously, you guys. Wow. You can't rip me off for my money. Like, that's theft. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. I'm about to freak out, and I'm not even in this situation. I, I don't know how the, the poor lady at McDonald's is keeping her calm as well as she is. I would have already just absolutely freaked. I would have probably dove through the fucking drive through window into their car and just started tearing up shit like the Tasmanian devil. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I can't. 
my fuse is like this big when it comes to people like that. Someone who's just looking for an argument. Someone who's itching to get into a confrontation. Because that's what it is at the end of the day. They're trying to be hard to deal with. They don't want to make things easy. They're actively trying to make this situation as just insufferable as possible. I, said I can phone the police and have you charged you with can theft. Call, you can call sir. I, I will. I will. Call I will I'll call, call them. But now that we suffered through the bad part of this, now we get to laugh in the face of these people. And oh boy, it's just, it's just gonna be such a rewarding feeling. This is the dude's Instagram, the man who said he had 50,000 followers, you know, the influencer, the celebrity that was in the McDonald's drive-thru. This is him. He's missing a couple zeros there. And I haven't fact-checked this, but people in the comments were saying that now his Instagram post has magically vanished. He did a magic trick on it. And someone also even found their uh, Facebook. And they posted, like, when they made their relationship official on Facebook back on July 1st of 2023. Real classy couple here. And now these people have already been embarrassed enough. They've practically been tarred and feathered and paraded through town square. But it gets even, it gets even better. The, 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 the karma. Karma has to be real after this. This is the most satisfying part of this whole story. The same person who posted the video, Yegwave, said that the owner and acting general manager of this lady's workplace has confirmed to us that the lady in this post, identified as Ashley, whatever that is, under our Instagram post, has been fired from her job. So these are the messages. It says, my name is Marco, and I'm the owner and acting general manager at Bud's Lounge and Albert's Family Restaurant in Capilino Mall. So the lady that was being racist and telling this McDonald's worker to get a career works in the same exact industry, which is very ironic because it's the same exact career. And he says, last night, a video was posted and has gone viral of an employee of ours in a McDonald's drive through We do not condone that type of language, and she is no longer employed at this company. Man, I feel like the Grinch with this big of a smile on my face. My cheeks are about to rip like the Joker. This video does not reflect the values or viewpoints of the employees who work here or my family that owns this business. All four of my grandparents were immigrants to Canada as well, many of our employees. I would appreciate if you could pin this comment or repost it on my behalf. Thank you. And then they responded and said, hi, thank you for the update. Just to make sure, has she been fired or she left on her own will? No, she was fired first thing this morning. And then he goes to say the same thing that he said in the other ones a minute ago, the other comments. And that right there is a good enough reason to go eat at this place because they don't allow intolerable douchebags to work at their company. Even if the food sucks ass, that right there is a good enough reason in and of itself to go don at the place. But man, I got so mad after I first seen that video because it happens way too often where these employees just get harassed for absolutely no reason and nothing really comes of it. But this one, man, just, there being a satisfying conclusion, it's just so, it feels so rewarding knowing that the lady actually faces some repercussions for her terrible actions. And that's really what I love to see at the end of the day. Wraps it up all neat and nice, like a Christmas present under the Christmas tree. And other than that, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one.